Welcome to Revelation of Alpha and Omega Ministry 24-7. I hope you have, you have enjoyed the tape, the video of everyone, everybody is not going to heaven. But if you have clicked on the second video, which is this video, I'm going to explain to you that the process of being born again. The born again experience is you must acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You must ask God into your life. Say, Father God, come into my life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the first process. The second process is you fall down your knees. Or right now, if you make a confession that, Lord, I'm lost, I need a Savior, save me right now. And God will save you right now, my friend. Don't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow is not promising. The Bible says, boast not for tomorrow because we know not what tomorrow may bring. And give give Jesus Christ your life. If you give Jesus Christ, what does that mean, giving Jesus Christ my life? That means that you have, you have pardoned you pardon your sin. Jesus Christ will pardon your sin and he will accept you into his kingdom. He will accept you into the family. Today become your birthday if you accept the Lord and Jesus Christ into your life. When you accept Jesus Christ into your life, it's a process you must do. And the first process you must do, you must find your Bible believing church. Find it your point and duty to go to church. Find your church that, that believe in the Bible. Folks are carrying the Bible. Folks are the pastors reading the Bible. The pastors say, get your Bible. And when the, the pastor finished preaching forth the word of God, when you get home, find out what the pastor was talking about. Just don't put the Bible on the on your dresser or put the Bible on the nightstand or put the Bible on your table where you're eating and never pick it up again for the whole week. Make it your point and duty to have time with God. If you spend time with God, you be like the psalmist say that the word if I hid, that's in Psalms 19 verse 11. The psalmist say the word if I hid in my heart, that it might sin against God. And when you find time to spend with God, God will give you time to spend with Him. By you meditate on the Word of God. When you meditate on the Word of God, the Word of God becomes your weapon to fight habits, to fight sin, to fight friends that try to persuade you back into the world. So I'm telling you, after you have experienced the birth, the, the born again experience, you must find time to pray, find time to read God's Word. And find time to go to God's service because the Bible says, "Forsaking the self, forsaking yourself together, we must we must spend time with God, spend time with God's family, and when you time when you spend time with prayer, when you spend time with with, with, with reading the Word of God, when you spend time to go to God's church, you have enough weapon to fight against the devil because the devil he gonna tempt you, the devil gonna try to try to pull you back into the world." So the, the only weapon you have to fight against the devil is the word of God. You can't cuss the devil out. You can't knock the devil out. The only thing you have to fight against the devil is the word of God. Be like Jesus. In, in, in Matthew, the fourth chapter, when Jesus Christ fasted for 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness, and the tempter came to tempt him, the tempter came to tempt him, by saying that even though Jesus Christ was hungry, he said, cast these stone into bread, Jesus. But Jesus Christ gave him the word of God. He said that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And the devil take Jesus Christ into the pinnacle. And they say that Jesus, I know Psalms 91 say that he will give his angel charge over thee. If they dash thy foot against the stone. But Jesus Christ said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And then the devil didn't stop right there. The devil said, Come on over, Jesus. Now this is a, this is a snake we're talking about. This is a serpent we're talking about. And then the devil showed him all the pomp of the world, the kingdom of the world. And he said that if you fall down and worship me, Jesus, I will give you all this. But Jesus Christ said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. So Jesus Christ gave the devil the word of God. And by you experiencing a born-again experience, and you trying to get to heaven, you must give the devil the word of God. The only way you're going to experience 
the born again experience to get to heaven because we're trying to strive to get to heaven. Everybody that die is not going to heaven. And the only way you can get to heaven, you must have the word of God to resist the devil and will flee, flee from you and God will draw nigh to you. And the devil will come, keep on coming back and you must keep on giving the word of God. Why people fail this thing called Christianity? Because number one, they don't pray. Number two, they don't stay in the word of God. Number three, they don't, they don't attend church faithfully. The only time people go to church is only on Easter, a paganistic day. They, they, they go to church on, on, on Christmas. They go to church on watch night service. Or they go to church when there's a funeralization or when there's a wedding. But 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 the person that experienced the born again experience you're trying to get to heaven, you must do three things faithfully study the word of God, pray to God, and find your Bible believing church. Don't find you a a glorified church. Don't find your Hollywood church. Don't find your church that that pump with with them, them dressing up and and Mercedes Benz and and all these nasty of things. But find your church that preaching forth the word of God, just like my church, Grace Community Church. They preach forth the word of God. They just don't come as pumps. They don't come as uh, glorified when money suits their pretty dresses, but they come as they are. They come as dresses as, as becoming saint, and they preach forth the word of God. Yes, Grace Community Church. Yes, my church. So I'm saying to you, watching this video, if you're trying to get to heaven, you got to go through Bible way. You must go through the being born again experience and be born of the water and the spirit. The spirit is the Holy Spirit. So I'm telling you, if you want to go to heaven, my friend, a beautiful place, you must do the Bible way. And the Bible way is, in as I read St. John chapter 3, verses 7, that Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ by night, and Jesus Christ tell him, Verily, truly, truly, I send thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. When Nicodemus said, how can a man be, be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born again? But Jesus Christ said, Verily, verily, I said thee, except a man be born of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. But Jesus Christ said, finalize, marvel not that I send thee, you must be born again. So this is a condition of getting to heaven. And if you can't fall under this condition, my friend, hell, the lake of fire, is your home. Let me pray. Father God, bless this person that if you this video right now, Lord, touch their heart, touch their mind. Let them make the decision to want to do it the Bible way. Make the decision to do it God's way. Make the decision to do it Jesus Christ's way. Bless their mind. Bless their soul. Bless their body right now. Give them the power to fight the devil. Give them the power to know the scripture. Give them the power to memorize the scripture. Give them the power to resist evil, resist the bad habits right now. Touch their mind. Touch their life right now. In the wonderful, precious name of Jesus Christ, oh God, bless them right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. After you say that prayer, God bless you richly is my prayer. I'm your host. Of Revelation of Alpha and Omega ministry worldwide. God bless. Peace. Be still.